Hi guys, back again with another video. Now in this video, we are going to unbox and review the Okta Smart Homes Oak Plug Mini. Now this uh, is one of their variant. You have the big variant also. You have the 16 amp ones. This is the 6 amp ones. So this one can be used to control your computers, TVs and all these small gadgets, low power devices. So it can basically control anything uh, below 1.3 kilowatts. So uh, I bought this with my Amazon devices. So it depends on you what uh, offer you get. Uh, right now you are getting the bulb for 50 rupees extra and this one for 399. So let's see if it's worth 399 or not. It's actually priced uh, 3,990 so almost 4,000 rupees so is it worth 399 let's go ahead and check that out now uh, before we start uh, I was making this video before uh, you see a second one lying here so I have two of them now so uh, this this is a replacement product this one had a defect so you will be seeing the defect also uh, what actually happened and I'll be talking about my experience with Okta uh, so I actually had to go through their warranty process I had to uh, replace my plug so how was that process is it good uh, because it's an Indian company how good it was and all we'll be talking about uh, about that in the end of the video so let's go ahead unbox this and then see what all do we get with this after that we'll be doing the testing and then we will talk about who should be buying this Let's remove the seal. Once you remove it, you get this void thing here. You get a manual and you get the plug. There, that's it, nothing else in it. So that's the device. It's quite big. It actually looks a little more bigger than your regular uh, uh, multi plug like the big multi plug it actually looks a little bigger than that if you compare it with the Wipro and the Hila device this one size is much bigger than that uh, we will be doing a comparison in the next uh, in the next video not in this one uh, but we'll be talking about it in this video so it's uh, big now let's see how it actually works so this is the plug you see my uh, previous device the one that I got before had a problem just see that video and then we'll be doing the unboxing further Okay, so you've seen uh, the internal part over here, the metal part was missing in the device that I got. So finally, I had to get it replaced and the new one was fine. So this is how it looks like. You just plug in anything over here and that device, whatever you plug in, is going to get automated. This light, uh, ha it has a white and a red light. So it, it will uh, blink red and white when it's trying to connect. Uh, and it will go red when it is on. It will go white when it's off. So that's basically it you have the QR code here so with the app you can just directly uh, either put the user, uh, device ID and password or use the QR code to uh, set it up okay so I've installed the Okta uh, app so this is how it looks like once you open it up uh, you will see the devices that you've registered with this now I have two devices uh, the one with the geezer uh, the big one and the small one okay add new device mini I let add now it'll ask me to scan the code scan the code over here like that so this is how it is now I do proceed now it will try to connect to it because now it has the QR code it knows the device now it will try to connect to it now now you will see an angry duck which will keep looking at you like that Okay, so everything is done. Now once it's done, it will give you this message successfully configured. Exit and it's done. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how this actually works. Now I'll put the screen uh, over here so you can see the screen better. So this is the menu. So we'll not go through all of that. I'll just tell you what all features it has. So it has schedule, timer and activity history. So I can schedule the plug to switch on at a, a certain time and switch off at a certain time. And you have all the days over here. So you can uh, set it up according to whatever you want on off and then which days AM PM and the time can be 
set like this so that's how that works i'll make a second video to show you the entire menu better uh, then you have add or remove auto timer so you can put an auto timer onto this so if uh, if you switch on an auto timer you can set it up like uh, in two hours or three hours or whatever switch it off automatically you put that and then save it so it will switch it off automatically within that time uh, three days activity history and supported voice commands okay then you have name and image setting so i change the name now i put it uh, the, uh, put the name as speaker uh, so that it's easier instead of remembering blah 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 long name uh, i just put that and then you have your image setting so i can click a picture of the uh, device that i connected to so that it's easier for me to see it and remember you have manage user so you will see the users over there uh, then you have voice assistant so this is important when you go into that it actually gives you your credential for uh, google home and octa uh, smart home so you have to, uh, in alexa you have to add octa smart home and then it will ask you for the username and password so this is the username password which has been generated for you so you the username will be your email id and the password would be generated so you can copy it from here and then set it up over there so just remember that because when you log into the app itself you do not have a username password you have a phone number and then uh, you uh, uh, register with your email id and then it will send the otp to your email id itself when you create a username so it's not even sending the OTP to your phone, sending it to your email. So once you log in, uh, it will give you all this option. Now, one more thing, you cannot have it on two devices. You cannot install the same software on two devices because as soon as you log into the new one, the old one gets disconnected. So that's one thing that you have to remember. Okay, then you have installation and support. So when you go into this, you will see the picture, uh, sorry, you will see the video on how to install it, how to use it. Uh, you have the get support over here. So it will show you uh, options to contact them uh, through WhatsApp. So Okta uh, customer care will automatically open up and then you can uh, talk to them directly. So it's a very easy process. I really like that. So that's basically what it can do. Uh, now, let me just show you a live demo. So now I want to switch it on it's on red is on I switch it off white is off now uh, I can use my voice assistant so I'll ask uh, Alexa to switch it on Alexa switch on the speaker okay okay Alexa switch off the speaker okay Okay, so that's how it works. Uh, it's not as fast as uh, the Wipro and Hila plugs, but it's decent enough. I think there's almost a second uh, difference uh, delay, but it still works. Now, uh, just remember, when you put this plug in, you do not have enough space to put a second plug in properly. So uh, with the other Wipro and Hila one, you will not have that problem. With this, you will have that problem. Uh, so the second plug, the second portion over here, normally uh, you won't be able to put anything big. You will be able to put a regular uh, normal one, like a two pin socket that will go in. But uh, the big ones will not go in. That's a big problem with this one. So that's something you have to remember. So that's it. Now let's go ahead and discuss about uh, what I liked and what I disliked and let's do the review. Okay, so you've seen how it looks like, you've seen uh, uh, the difference between this one and the other plugs. Uh, so let's uh, talk about uh, the difference between them. So let's talk about what's not that great. So uh, there are actually two things which I did not like. One was uh, the size of the plug itself. Uh, now if I compare it with the Wipro or Hila plug, this one is quite big. Second is the Wi-Fi connectivity. So the Wi-Fi connectivity on this is good but not great. Uh, the Wipro and the Hila ones catch better Wi-Fi than this. Now, this was a problem that I was facing with the older plug. Now the newer plug that they've brought in, uh, I don't see any difference. They look the same. I don't know if there's an upgrade in it. But the newer plugs uh, have better Wi-Fi. Uh, I think uh, maybe they worked on it because uh, on their website, uh, actually on the on the Amazon uh, page where you actually purchase it, uh, people have complained about the Wi-Fi uh, issue, and I think they worked on it. That's why the Wi-Fi thing is getting better. Okay, now let's talk about what I liked about this. So uh, good um, features. 
they work very good uh, all the features in them um, have been tested you can switch it on switch it off uh, with a timer you can schedule a on off uh, thing on this and it will switch on and switch off at a certain time all of that works fine it supports 1.3 kilowatt uh, power so that's also excellent that was a big doubt that uh, we had so this one supports everything it uh, i've been using it for uh, more than a week now so it has been working fine and uh, the best thing is the warranty process how fast they are so you have to go into the app and then uh, go into contact so uh, customer contact and then customer support and then uh, when you click that it will automatically take you to a whatsapp uh, messenger and then you can actually directly whatsapp with people over there and they will immediately call you and uh, they will ask you uh, about the problem so uh, I told them that this piece was missing they asked me for a picture I actually made a video and sent it to them uh, because because I went to the Amazon kiosk and I compared and then I saw what the problem was I showed the video to them and immediately they told me to destroy this plug so I don't know if that's going to be the process later on or not but right now uh, they asked me to destroy the plug so I had to take a hammer and break it and once I broke it I had to click a picture and then send it to them uh, after that they sent me a new one so I thought it was going to take a long time I can't make this video this week uh, but within two days I received the pack uh, so this was it so I actually got it through uh, DTDC uh, courier service so it was actually fast within two days I got my uh, device which was actually amazing I did not think it's gonna come that fast now uh, it's a Indian company everything is made in India and the service is also top-notch so very happy with the product and the service so that's it for this video if you like the video please subscribe with the like button and do comment and I'll see you again with another video bye bye